everyone, here is how to create dynamic tables in Excel so that your charts will sort of automatically update as you edit your data and as you add more, more data, more rows of data, or as you delete rows of data. So here you can see I have my data table of my first time visitor and their satisfaction ratings on different uh, satisfaction survey items here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to insert a really simple bar chart. Um, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, but we would go through uh, all of the different sort of techniques to sort of like make uh, the bar chart a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of those grid lines. Let's add labels right there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the grid lines there. The title, we would have a chart title, something different than that first time visitors. But I just want to show you how uh, the chart will update when we create a dynamic table there. I'm going to go ahead and border. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we go. So my staging table is right here. My data table is here. I'm going to highlight the entire table of data, go up to the insert tab, and then you see pivot table. We don't want a pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and click on table. And so here we go, table, and then it's going to say, do, does my table have headers? And it does. So I'm going to keep that selected, and then I'm going to click, uh, click OK. And you can see that it gives you sort of this canned uh, version of the table in Excel with the sort of alternating colors of rows. I don't really like that very much so I'm going to go up here to that table design tab and the table styles if you click all the way up here there's a, a very easy table style right here which is basically nothing nice clean and white and then it also comes with these filter buttons I don't really need them so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the filter button option and now I have this little dynamic table and I can tell it's dynamic because of this little arrow here in the bottom this little cursor now of course uh, the, if I highlight the chart it shows you where the the source data is coming from if I change the data in here it's going to change the bars let's go all the way up to 100% on that one that goes up and so you can see that even the scale will change as you edit the data but what if I have more data to add now if I add another sort of item let's just say welcoming experience as another item here as soon as I type this and if I click enter or tab it's going to add this row to the dynamic table and you can see that it added that to the top and let's just say you know we had like 89 percent of visitors there who said that that's perfect so now I still want to keep everything sorted so that it's greatest to least so if I want to do that um, I could actually click in the table go to the table design tab get those filter buttons back and you can click on them to sort and you can say smallest to largest so perfect it resorts there or you can say largest to, to smallest now if I wanted to delete I'm going to go back to Small to largest. You can see Excel does actually the opposite in charts. So if your data table is sorted smallest to largest, your chart is going to show up largest to smallest and vice versa. If I want to delete a row here, um, I could even just click this row, right click and click delete, and then that's gone. If I wanted to undo that, I can undo there. If I wanted to just keep this data, but I didn't want to show it in the chart, all I have to do is hide this row, right click the row, and then go down to hide. And then that actually hides it from the uh, data table, and then it takes it away from your chart. So I hope that you use these dynamic tables in your work. Enjoy.